Resin craft is a good hobby that can become your professional work. Resin may appear difficult to work with at first glance, but just don't de bother. It's not as hard as it looks. What supplies do you need? What projects and creations can you make with resin? It has a super expensive hobby? We will try to answer all these questions. What is epoxy resin? Hardener. When materials are mixed together, they react and produce heat. This chemical reaction occurs that creates from a liquid to hard as rock solid material. The ratio of this material usually is 1 to 1 and it's easy to work with. The manufacturer's directions must be strictly adhered to in order for the resin to cure properly. Resin can be calculated by weight or volume. Contrary to appearances, resin and hardener usually weigh differently. Resin allows us to use it for items such as home decor, pictures, jewelry, sculptures, coasters, flow art, charcuterie boards, trays and other works. How to choose resin When you first begin using resin, you could decide to attempt and find the cheapest epoxy possible. The majority of inexpensive epoxy resins are and made for resin crafts because they re-typically created with subpar materials, are extremely poisonous, emit fumes, and start to turn yellow over time, damaging your craft projects. Resin Viscosity, Things You Should Know Low viscosity resin has a longer curing time, so you will need to wait some time before demold your work. This type of resin can be used to cast thick or large layers of resin. High viscosity resin has a shorter working time results in a shorter curing time. Consequently, it is crucial to get the right viscosity, as doing otherwise could result in a project that won't fully cure and looks awful. As an example if you will use a low viscosity resin for a large object, you may not be able to get the resin out of the mold and the project will be ruined. If you use a high viscosity resin in a different mold, it might look broken. Always spend some time digging a little further to find high quality resin. Curing time can vary depending on the resin supplier, so make sure to double check the manufacturer's instructions. Weather conditions, working temperature and other factors also impact. Like and subscribe to the channel. And move on. Mixing resin can be quite difficult for beginners but once you get into the process and doing it over and over again, the steps are very easy. Mix, pour, destroy bubbles, layer resin, wait till it cures. Coloring Epoxy Resin Adding colorant and embellishments to resin is the most satisfying thing about this craft. Experimenting with different colors and techniques is my favorite. Alcoholics, resin color pigments, glitters or flakes are so fun to do. Utilizing epoxy resin safely is crucial. To work safely, abide by these fundamental safety rules. Use PPE, nitro gloves, and a respirator when working in a well-ventilated location. The best defense against fumes or solvents created when a combination begins to cure is a mask or respirator. Stop right away if you experience any allergic reactions. I appreciate each and every one who supports me and my channel. Buy me a coffee. Link in description. How to calculate the amount of resin you will need. How much epoxy resin you will need for your projects depends on the size of your painting surface, also the size of the edges which you want to cover with paint tape. Pour equal volumes of resin and hardener into the mixing bucket after preparing your work surface and estimating how much resin you will need. Let's say your artwork project size is 1 feet by 2 feet, 12 x 24. Total combined epoxy resin required is 10 ounces, 5 ounces of resin and 5 ounces of hardener. Test by starting pouring 5 ounces of resin into the mixing cup, then 5 ounces of hardener, total 10 ounces.
press the bell, so you don't miss a new video.